Hello everybody, I'm Frida Stauffer. I, I've uh, managed to make it to um, Olive Branch this morning and I picked up this uh, bird cage back there and I'm so excited now I can go plant stuff. Um, I'm looking for more uh, bird cages because I'm thinking of putting like tomatoes in one and eggplants in one <laughs> so I'll just and and the thing about it is even though I pay like 40 or 50 dollars or 60 dollars sometimes depending on what kind of cage it is um and and the smaller ones are like eight or ten dollars sometimes but um I don't mind paying for them uh, because they will last for years and I, I will uh, use them and reuse them over and over and uh, whatever plants I put in it if it's something like a tomato or something it won't have to live there for uh, I mean it will just live there for one season and then I'll use it again the next year but um, some plants will just live in it permanently um, depending on what kind they are um, but you can do so many things with it you can have like I could put a climbing vegetable in it like climbing beans or something and they could just climb up in there <laughs> I'm I'm uh torn now do I want to put merry I mean morning glories in this one or do I want to put purple hyacinth beans purple hyacinth beans smell amazing they're mostly uh for decoration but you can also eat them I'm thinking purple hyacinth beans need that need to be in this cage <laughs> because I want to plant some. I had some in the in the back, uh, back garden last year, a couple. But I think, I think animals got to them. So, and you know, I think there might be a raccoon or a rabbit or something coming into my backyard sometimes because are in my back garden because I find large droppings there and it's not cat droppings. And I believe they dig and eat seeds and stuff that I plant. Um, it's not rabbit droppings either. So it's either a raccoon or a possum, I think. Because we have raccoons and possums in the back. So whatever I I put in there is going to be safe from all of those critters. <laughs> not just the cats. I have to keep sucking that huffing on those inhalers but I hope to take you with me on my way home because I was thinking of going to an Aldi here but I, I spent my money on the bird cage I don't have any money left to go to Aldi <laughs> well, I can go but I won't be buying anything um, <clears throat> anyway so I'm going
anything yet today. I need to go home and have breakfast now. I got up and took a shower and got the kids breakfast and um, took them to school. Their dad went off on to work, and and I uh, took a little drive <laughs> out of state. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. I guess I'll see you guys and talk to you when I get home. So I've been home for about an hour and getting my breakfast ready. I have a baked potato in here with some kefir cheese. Kefir cheese is better than sour cream, if you ask me. I get it from the Arabic market. And I put black pepper and olives green olives, and um, I put uh, nutritional yeast in here because I want to make sure that I'm not low on B vitamins. So that's what it looks like on my fork. That's my breakfast. Bismillah. I got the cage home in the sound room. Waiting for me to get to work on it. Um, I was pretty hungry. Um, it doesn't look too um it doesn't have too much aesthetic appeal but it is delicious i'm trying to get potassium and b vitamins and probiotics <coughs> Fear cheese is high in probiotics. Mm. So I really enjoyed my little mini trip this morning. my first time in downtown Olive Branch. It's a teeny little picturesque town. I I saw a lot of very large houses there. I believe uh, it's uh, what is it? There's a name for it when the rich people move away from the city. They work in the city but they they move and they have their houses at, you know, away, away from the city. I know suburbia is one word for it, but it's, it's also another word. I forgot what it's called. But the houses over there are gorgeous. They have big yards and 
trees around them, a lot of space. And now that I'm back home, going to relax a while and maybe I'll watch some Lorena Del Sur. Lorena Del Sur, it's a, it's the, um, it's a Mexican show based off a book, The Queen of, well, actually, the, I think the original book might have been Lorena Del Sur. And Queen of the South is the English translation. But uh, it's like watching, I've already watched Queen of the South and watching Lorena Del Sur is like watching, like being told the same story by two different people. And they're both in Spanish, but um, I'm, I watch them with subtitles and I, uh, I'm learning a lot of um, Spanish from watching it in Spanish. <laughs> I don't like watching shows that were made in other languages and then and listening to the English voiceover. I hate it because it loses its uh, authenticity. It loses it loses its uh, tone and inflection, and it the voices are too flat when they do the voiceover bit. Pretty expressionless. I would rather listen to it in another language and then read the subtitles in English because I want the, I want the feelings to be expressed in the words more than, than a language or a specific language. Some things really do get lost in translation. So that's another reason why I want to hear their language. I want to hear them speaking in their language and I just want to read at the bottom because I can get more out of it that way. So anyway, I'm going to um, get off here and finish this and relax a little and then decide what I'll do with that birdcage. This is how beautiful and green the trees are behind our house. I'm enjoying the greenness after a long cold winter and I know some of my northern friends are still enjoying a long cold winter. It's not over for them. So, here's a burst of spring for you. Here's the cage I picked up this morning in Olive Branch. I put uh, I the top opens and I put the two pots in where I'm going to put uh, potting soil in them and then uh, plant something in. I haven't decided yet what to plant, but it's definitely going to be one of the climbing things. Either beans or morning glories. Or maybe beans in one and morning glories in the other. Because there's two. There are the seeds I planted the other time, the other day. I have uh, sweet peas growing. They're reaching way up, way up high uh, because they want something to climb on. There's one over there already reaching uh, the cage rung uh, uh, wires. It wants to climb. They all do. 
So I can't wait. I can't wait to till they all start to climb. And the little lobelia is in there. Um, I'm going to fertilize them soon. And this is the largest cage that I've had so far. And the uh, mandevillas are growing. One is pink blooming. The other one had a red bloom. It fell off, I guess. Hopefully it'll bloom again. And the, my geranium, my pink geranium that was big and bushy during the winter and then the cats broke it. It came back to life after I put it in this cage and it's blooming now. I'm so excited. Mandevillas will end up climbing. Hopefully they'll climb on those bird perches. My little Susie Q in the little decorative bird cage. That bird cage was mostly decoration. It's not actually a bird home, but it is a plant home. The holes are small enough that the cats can't get in it. So I'm happy about it. This little Norfolk Island pine. I'm thankful that it's growing. I've lost so many and finally I have one that's growing. This one I got from Walmart and I think all the others I got were from uh, uh, Lowe's maybe. It was hard to get one started growing for me. The other one I had froze and, and uh, before that I had some in the house and tried to grow them in the house and they didn't like it. But this one seems happy and I hope it stays happy. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. This one, I'm going to replace this. And, and, but it looks like it wants to grow. <laughs> it froze during the winter. It got colder than it wanted to be. I'm sure that's what's wrong with what happened to it. It was just got too cold. It liked to be warmer. Yeah, so I'm happy for Alice. I want to put her in something else, but... I don't know yet what. I need to think about how to rehome her, re rehouse her. She needs to be repotted and she can grow up to six to 10 feet tall if she's taken care of well. So I would really like to put her in a larger pot and fertilize her and, and have uh, either caging or, or some kind of fencing around her to keep the cats out. I think my red geranium is about to bloom too. That one also, I wintered it over from last year. It, it was so pretty and I brought it in hope for hoping I could save it uh, over the winter and not let the cats kill it. And I, I'm happy it's still with me and, and still growing and budding. That little uh, angel wing begonia, I see lots of new growth on it, so it's, happy in there.